What is going on guys, I'm Roadmaster, and today we're doing a head-to-head-to-head -to -head -to -head against the big three, the Ferrari 4A GTB, the McLaren 650S, and the Lamborghini Huracan LP10-4. Now these cars have been out for about a year now, and I haven't seen anybody do a real comparison against all three of them together. So that is what we're going to do in this video. The first things we are going to do is the lap times. First up is the McLaren 650S. Now this car was kind of a handful on the track and uh, these were all done with traction and stability control on. So just I just want you guys to be aware of that and taking it through the, the first two corners it was pretty smooth and here we're going through what I like to call like the, kind of the S's of this track. This is the Circuit of the Americas if you guys did not know. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to let you guys have a little sound clip of this. Hold on. It sounds so good with that V8, the twin turbo V8. 650S. <clears throat> the starting price for the coupe is 600 or not 600, 250, 265,500 for the coupe and 280,225 for the convertible or spider. The weight of this vehicle is 3,148 stock and with options it's 3,236 uh, pounds. MPG is 16 city, 22 highway, so kind of what you expect from a supercar. The engine is a 3.8 liter V8 twin turbo. Horsepower has 641 horsepower and 500 pounds feet of torque. Yeah, so it's it's a pretty good machine. It's got decent power, decent torque. So uh, yeah, it's definitely got more or. Yeah, now it's got less power and torque than the 488, which you guys will see. And it has uh, more horsepower, but less torque. Uh, no, actually, no, it's got more horsepower and torque than the Lamborghini Huracan. But here we are coming up to the final corner of this Circuit of the Americas, and the McLaren 650S will be crossing the line. Now I'm just going to tell you the lap time. The lap time was 2 minutes 24.2 seconds. Now we move on to the Lamborghini Huracan. This car, it does look pretty good in yellow, you got to admit it. But the first two turns weren't pretty bad. There's a little body roll, but that four-wheel drive just kicking in there. So it obviously got off, off the line faster, but we didn't, I didn't show you guys off the line. Here we are coming into the S's. It didn't handle the S's as well as the uh, McLaren because it is all-wheel drive, so I wanted to oversteer more. But I'm gonna get, let you guys have a sound clip. Sounds good, doesn't it? All right, now let's go over the specs. This car has a starting price of one hundred ninety-nine thousand eight hundred dollars for the coupe, and the spider version, yeah, the spider version will run you quite a bit more at two hundred sixty-two thousand three hundred and fifty. That's base. That's without adding any options. The weight of this vehicle is three thousand and sixty-two pounds or with options 3,399 pounds so it's it's a little bit more than the uh, McLaren fully loaded but not much but stock it weighs less so I guess that's an advantage if you get one stripped down <coughs> alright the MPG is 14 city 21 highway which is worse than the McLaren which gets 16 city and 22 highway <coughs> excuse me uh, the engine in this thing is a 5.2 liter V10, but that doesn't help it on the track. Oh, uh, uh, 
you guys will see the times later, but yeah. Um, you guys think I know where I'm going with this. Horsepower is 602, and the torque is 412 pound-feet. Now, it's obviously the... It's got the biggest engine here, but it's got the lowest power ratings. And here we are down the last straight. The Lamborghini Huracan came in with a 225.9. Now we move on to the Ferrari 488 GTB. Can this thing beat it? We will see on this lap. First two corners, pretty good. It was pretty solid. It was kind of like the McLaren, although I, I was able to do it a little bit tighter than the McLaren. Do the, uh, yeah, the racing lines. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. And then the S's, it went out a little bit wide with uh, a little bit of oversteer. But I think it, I think it did pretty good. There's a little bit of understeer right there. And going through this, the, I took that in second gear in every car. Most of them handled good. The Lamborghini was the only one. Yeah, I didn't like it. But here's a little sound clip for you guys. It sounds amazing. And here we are going on to the straight. The top speed of this car is, I think it's 202 miles an hour. But, uh, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure. I didn't. Uh, I don't think I remembered that. Yeah, I didn't. But the specs for this car starting price is 242737 without options. And with options, I don't know. Probably another 100000 and uh, I didn't couldn't find the price for the um, the spider. The weight is three thousand and twenty. It didn't say with options. Uh, MPG. It's kind of the in between one. It has fifteen city, twenty highways, so it's in between. It's not better than the McLaren, but it's uh, better than the Lambo. All right, it has a three point nine liter V8 twin turbo with six hundred and sixty one horsepower and five hundred and sixty one pounds feet of torque. Now it's obviously got more uh, of both than the Lamborghini and it's got more than the uh actually it is the most powerful one here. So uh, all right, coming around the last turn. There we go, yeah look at that sexy car. Alright, the Ferrari 488 GTB comes in at 6 minutes 22.6, so it's the fastest one here. And this is the drag race. First up is the Ferrari 488. Uh, this one did a fastest time of 10.1 seconds. Next up we have the McLaren 650S, which did a time of, let's see... 10.16 and the Ferrari did a 10.17 so it was not even a tenth of a second faster and the Lamborghini Huracan came in last despite having the biggest engine with a uh, time of 10.6 yeah so with that guys i'm going to declare the ferrari 488 gtb the winner if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like down below comment what you guys want to next and don't forget to subscribe for more content and i'll see you guys in the next one see you on the track